Hello you guys and welcome back to the vlogs! Oh my god you guys, this is the first vlog where I can finally talk about Buy Emma Rose. So by the time you guys are watching this vlog, Buy Emma Rose has launched. It's out in the world. Um, this is actually happening in real time for me. So tomorrow's the launch for me, but by the time you're watching this, it'll already be launched. I'm literally counting down the hours until you guys are able to get your hands on the olive. You guys especially, like the ones who watch my YouTube and my vlogs, you guys know the most that olives are like such a huge part of my life. And this has been an idea literally for years. I've had the at Emma's olives saved on my Instagram for like five years You guys don't understand to get that handle. It was a long time ago and I think it's just so funny because as much as you guys have been a part of like my fashion and beauty journey I feel like forever Anybody's asked me like oh like what do you want to come out with and like oh like what's gonna be your next move? And like what's your brand? And I've always been like, I really want to do olives. And everyone always is like, really? And I always knew it was a unique idea, but I think that's why it's so special is because I feel like it's never been done before. And for me, it comes from such a genuine space of like love and obsession. It's definitely going to be a lot more than just olives. I have so many ideas and so many goals for this brand that it's definitely not just going to be olives. And I'm truly not exaggerating, you guys. These are the best olives I've ever had in my life, personally. So you guys will have to be the judge too and let me know how you like them. But anyways, this intro has been going on for way too long. But I know that this is the first vlog you guys are going to see from me um, by the time the brand launches. So I just wanted to obviously talk to you guys about it because by the time you're watching this, you know about it. And I just want to just share how excited I am. So of course, I'll be linking Emma's olives down below. Let me know what you think. I can't believe I just said that. That is so exciting and so cool. Oh my god. I'm freaking out. Okay. Bye Okay, so first behind the scenes look at what it's like to prep for a launch So I'm currently building out the Instagram feed. This is definitely a rough draft, but we're kind of starting to plug everything in um, We're also working on Instagram stories, which are going to be going live on launch day um, Which by the way for launch day, there's gonna be free shipping in the US and Canada all day long. So that's very exciting. Um, but yeah, there's just a bunch of artwork and a bunch of different graphics we're working on. Look how cute you guys. We basically are working with an artist who has created all of our custom artwork for the brand. She's technically me, but also just like the Emma's Olives girly, you know what I mean? So she's in a lot of the graphics and artwork. Um, but yeah, there's just a little sneak peek on what we're working on for the social calendar. And then another thing that I've been having to go through is the content. So here's like a little sneak peek on one of the images. So I have to basically sift through all of the content to figure out like where's ev where everything is going to be placed on the By Emma Rose website. So we're basically going through that right now, which again, this will be live by the time you're seeing this. So it's definitely going to be changing a little bit, but we're almost there. It's looking really good. Okay, so it's now lunchtime. And I'm being very on brand right now. I'm currently eating out of the jar, which as you can tell, I've been eating a lot of them. And I ordered a sandwich from the sandwich place across the street. I guess I've told you guys about it, I think in a few vlogs ago, but they have the best roast turkey sandwiches. So I'm eating it with a side of olives, which is just my ideal situation. And the fact that I get to eat my olives in front of you guys now, and you guys could also eat them, it's so crazy. So I'm having a few of the Castel Toronto, and then I'm gonna have a few of the Kalamata. I've opened up a fresh jar of Kalamata. I just got in a whole shipment of fresh olives, duh, because I ran out by like sharing them with like friends and family and getting them to all like taste test them and stuff. So I just got in like a full set of a bunch of fresh ones. Okay, so obviously with launch day happening tomorrow, I have a lot of work to do. So I'm eating my lunch at my desk. You guys, look how stunning that looks. So good. Yeah, it's super 
cute. And then we would just need to switch out that green photo for a higher quality. The little pink one seems to be fine. And then, yeah, the rest of the images you guys it is now 9 45 p.m. and I'm still here at my desk um, I just got off a phone call or off a zoom call with um, my team over at UTA just to kind of go over last-minute things but I wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek because I'm very proud I'm very proud of this I am NOT a graphic designer as we know as you may not know but I'm not a graphic designer it's not my forte however I am a very small team a team of me um, and I had to basically make all of the assets for this launch so I'm feeling very accomplished and proud of myself because this is not something normally that I do um, obviously I'm you know passionate about the brand so I can come up with the you know the right copy and the right visuals I love to be creative and all that stuff but to actually put it all together visually in like Photoshop or Canva that's just like not really my thing but anyways I think I did a good job and I wanted to show you guys because I don't know I'm proud of myself so I'm gonna present it to you as a first-time viewer I know you've seen this now on launch day but you're getting a sneak peek the day before launch technically okay so we're starting off strong with one of the best shots of the whole photo shoot. I am obsessed with the shot. I think it's so cute and really captures my personality and the brand, the Pantones, everything. Also, my outfit is fire. So anyways, moving on, we have Welcome to the Delicious World of Biama Rose, which I think is adorable. Um, I put together a bunch of screenshots that I think are really cute of you guys all guessing what the brand is. You guys guessed right. Clearly, all of you guys did. It was so funny, but... Um, yeah, I just put a couple screenshots together. Yeah, so there's a lot where that came from, but that was just a little sneak peek as to what you guys are going to see. But I'm just feeling very proud of myself because this is very out of my comfort zone. And I think I did a good job. So hopefully you guys like it too. Oh, you guys, he literally ordered me a pizza straight to my door. It's my favorite pizza from Parlor. If you guys are from Vancouver and you haven't tried Parlor, you live under a rock or this is your homework for me. You need to order parlor or go in person. It's also really good. But this is my favorite pizza from them. It's pepperoni, chili flakes, honey, arugula, Kalamata olives. I think that's it. But it is so good. Anyways, I'm going to eat this pizza now. But that was so nice because I had not eaten dinner yet. And this is honestly my love language. A man who sends you pizza when you're hungry. Uh-huh. That is my love language. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is launch day. It's currently 8 a.m. And launch is at 10 a.m. I literally just rolled out of bed. I'm a little nervous and I get a little anxious when it comes to these things. So I'm going to try to just like calm down, not stress myself out or not overly feel anxious before 10 a.m. So I'm just going to make myself a coffee, have a shower get in the zone and get ready for lunch. Make sure everything's ready to go. And here we go, freaking out. Okay, you guys, it is officially 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes until launch. I'm freaking out. We have the website up so we can see you guys all flood into the website and see where you guys are all from um, and make sure we're just like checking up on everything. We have the caption ready to go, all the content ready to go. We're freaking out. Alex is here. So excited. We're so excited. We have the jars. The jars are here as our good luck charms. Okay, I'm posting. No, I'm freaking out. I'm gonna cry. I'm freaking out. Okay. I might have a panic attack. Okay, it's 10. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Ah! I just posted. I just went live. It's 
posted. Oh my god, look at the world map. Look at this, it's so crazy. Look how many people are here. Ah! That's so crazy. Did you? Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. Um, yesterday was so crazy. We sold out in Canada, which is insane. We're working really hard to get a restock soon. Um, but overall, the launch went so well. Like the response from you guys was like better than I could have imagined. Like just the positive overall response and excitement about the brand. And you guys are already like messaging me like, oh my God, you have to do this and oh my God, you have to do that. And it's so funny because we already have all of these things in the works. There's already so many ideas for the brand. And I think you guys are just gonna be very excited and very happy about it. So yeah, I'm just really grateful. I literally have, my whole apartment is a florist shop right now because I got so many flowers yesterday, which was so sweet, but I got these ones from Sofa Knits, so cute. And then these are from my UTA agents, which is obviously my team down in New York and LA. And then Mariana and Lauren from Summer Fridays sent me the most beautiful bouquet ever. I'm like dying. They got the Pantones <laughs> perfectly of the brand, um, which I don't know if that was on purpose, but it was beautiful. But like I told you guys, I think at the beginning of this vlog, we're hosting a little celebration launch party here in Vancouver with like my close family and friends um, just to like celebrate this exciting milestone um, and obviously celebrate the success already um, that the brand has accomplished, which is just super exciting. So me and Alex are working our little tushes off to create the cutest little um, launch party at Mont Pitou, which you guys know is one of my favorite cafes. We're renting out the space for the night and we're doing like a fun bar and we'll take you guys along for it, it's super cute, but that's what we're working on today since the launch party is tomorrow. Um, we're kind of getting everything in order, so let me show you what we have so far. Okay, so don't mind my kitchen. Um, it's literally a disaster. It's full of all, like where's Alex, where's Waldo? There she is, Waldo? literally. Um, but we have about 100 martini glasses because of course you guys, the party is gonna be stocked full of dirty martinis. And then we also have these really cute little um, pink martini picks because obviously we're doing the colorway of like the Pantones of the brand. Um, and then we're gonna be serving some popcorn. So we got these really cute little pink popcorn boxes, which is gonna be really fun to little DIY. Don't mind the rest of the PR and craziness. And then we also, Alex made these really cute um, little menus that are gonna be placed in Mont Pitou, obviously. We have a charcuterie board being made. So yeah, we're gonna head down to Mont Pitou now. We're gonna check out the space. I know I go literally every day. It's not like I don't know the space, but we just wanna like look at it again and like see where we're gonna put everything, have it laid out so then tomorrow when we're setting up, it'll be super seamless. Okay, we just got here. Look how cute the space is. I mean, if you're from Vancouver, maybe you've been here before, but for you guys who are not from here, look how cute the space is. So it's totally the aesthetic we go for. It's like a French little Parisian cafe. It's literally right around the corner from my house, so I come here like almost every day. <laughs> And they also carry um, really cute luxury like grocery goods, which you guys, Emma's olives might be carried here. <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But they have like really cute products imported from like France, and um, they have just like luxury goods here that are beautiful. So they just do such a great job. I love it here. So yeah, we're renting out this whole space. And we're gonna have some like branding going on. We'll probably get rid of this table um, and create maybe like a bigger space for everybody. But yeah, how cute. Okay, we're at Dollarama now and we're picking up some glasses because we want to welcome our guests with champagne flutes. And I don't own any champagne flutes and I'm not gonna go spend a billion dollars for champagne flutes just to invite people to my party. So we're at the Dollarama. <laughs> And we're finding them. They're literally a dollar each. So we're planning on um, serving champagne upon arrival. I think these are cute. I think they're cute enough. I think that's fine. That's fine. I don't think we what are we gonna do. ERL, ERL at Dollarama. <laughs> Uh, we love a steal. We love a steal. <laughs> yeah, here at ERL, we love a steal. 
Good morning, you guys. It is now Friday, and today is the day where we are hosting a little celebration slash launch party for By Emma Rose. So it's gonna be a pretty intimate party. To be honest, it's more so family and friends. Usually in the past, anytime I've launched something, I've always been out of town. But since I'm in Vancouver for this specific launch, I thought it'd be really fun to host like a family and friends launch party because usually my close family and friends from Vancouver never really get to come to all of like my big events. So I think that it's really special and really fun that it's gonna be very intimate and just family and friends. Um, it's not gonna be like very like PR or media or influencer heavy. Like you guys saw yesterday, we went to Mont 2 to kind of like suss out the space and that's why today we're gonna be doing setup. Um, so Mont 2 closes at 4.30 so we're gonna head over there then but I have a few errands and things I need to get done before so it's currently 10 a.m. 9.55 a.m. and I'm getting my nails done because I look like a rat my nails are like my nails have grown out and they need to be done so um, I have to do that I have to self tan because I'm in my pale era right now um, and I have to just get like a few work things done and then of course we got to set up for the party so I'm excited to take you guys along it's gonna be a fun evening so yeah happy Friday you guys unless you're watching this on a different day but for me it's Friday so TGIF I literally hate myself that I just said TGIF um, that just aged me so Okay, we just got here and we're setting up. Why isn't it loading? There we go. Mama Sue's is here, Carl's here, Alex is here. All the glasses for everybody. We're getting some candles set up, which the charcuterie board is gonna go in here. You guys look at these custom napkins we got. Tricato made them, they're so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. And then we're doing a little bar here. James is gonna be bartending, my good friend. I'm sure you guys have seen him on the vlogs before. All of the alcohol is going in here. Mama Sue's is being the little bartender. Got a water station. It's looking so cute. Who's here suiting up? James is in the building. <laughs> so is my dad. <laughs> so is my dad. Um, me? I don't know how to do that, but let me try. It's just like, I think you just yeah. have to put it. Let me here. try. It is currently Monday morning and this week is actually gonna be a really fun week I have a work trip planned out in Toronto um, I leave on Wednesday so Monday through Wednesday I'll be here in Vancouver and then Wednesday through Friday I'll be in Toronto um, but nonetheless I'm very excited to take you guys along as per usual so I woke up a little bit ago and I did my hair and makeup because I wanted to get some photos done today um, but first I have to get some work done at my computer for a little bit Alex is heading over um, we have a few meetings we have to get done and then um, I think we're gonna go out and take some photos spring is here the Sun is here hopefully it stays but it's making me so happy so we're gonna go out and enjoy the sunshine so that's what's on the plan today. 
I'm wearing my favorite house robe ever. It's from the Hotel Skims collection, um, but it's like the best fabric because it's super thin and it doesn't make me overheat, especially when I'm blow drying my hair. That's like my biggest pet peeve when my house robe makes me like overheat during that. So it's super light and cozy and really soft. Anyways, 10 out of 10 robe. I'll link it below if it's still available. So this is my little Monday morning setup, but I have to show you guys my new mug that I just got in. How adorable is this? It's by a small business called Piano Piano. I'll also have it linked below because I'm obsessed. It's so freaking cute. But like I said, I have a few meetings this morning. Some regarding my sister's bachelorette, which you guys know I'm planning, and that's coming up in May. And then also Coachella's coming up, so I'm still finalizing my outfits. I'm also going to LA about a week before Coachella, so I also have to finalize some meetings that I've planned. Um, it's just some like personal plans that I really wanna do. I have to secure um, our hotel that we're booking. Me and Soph are staying together. And then of course, Baya Moreau's just launched, so we have a ton of work to do with the brand. Obviously, I have so many ideas and so much already in the works with the brand. So that's just gonna be a part of my day-to-day -day life as well. And then of course just some other random to-dos I've got to get done today So for lunch today, Alex and I where are you? There she is. Um, we're going to Meinhardt. If you guys know Meinhardt, it's like this grocery store um, That man just was like what the fuck are you doing talking to a camera? Um, it's this grocery store on Granville and they have such good hot bar food Sometimes I feel like if, unless you go on weekends, they don't have good stuff. They know it's not as popular But here it's just like there's so much stuff. Alex has something to say. She's passionate. <laughs> She's passionate about the smart foodies We got back home a little while ago and me and Alex just finished up some work for the day. She left a little bit ago and I was still doing some last minute things. But tonight, me and T had a fun idea and we're gonna go and do the White Spot drive-in and get like burgers and milkshakes. And if you guys didn't know, I'm pretty sure I've told you guys, but T, he was born and raised in Europe, in Switzerland. So he never experienced a lot of things that I've experienced in Canada. And one of those things is the White Spot drive-in. I haven't even done it myself in probably 10 years, but it's such a childhood core memory for me. So I'm about to leave my place now and go pick T up and cheer him up, get him out of bed because he's feeling, like I said, sore for himself because he went skiing. So um, we're gonna go get burgers and milkshakes. Nothing a little burger and milkshake can't fix, you know? Before I leave, I have to give Pippa a treat because she has this thing where she sits at the corner of this table every time she wants a treat and it's become like a habit that every time she sits here I give her a treat so now it's just what she expects so I'm gonna give her a little treat before she goes look how excited her face gets just wait oh my goodness Hi. Hi. nothing like a good old temptation okay guys we just got to baby you can't turn on the music I'm gonna get copyright <laughs> okay we just got to Light spot, white spot drive-in. They haven't taken our order yet. The whole parking lot to ourselves. How romantic, babe. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna eat some burgers and milkshakes now. Okay, well, I'll let you know what we order. Hey, Hi. how's it going? All right, we ready to order? Yeah, I think so. Are we? Okay, I guess we are, yeah. Fries, sear salad. Yeah, fries would be great. Um, Can I get a cheeseburger? and a Caesar salad, uh, a ginger ale, and a strawberry milkshake. Thank you. Thanks very Thank much. you. Is that it? <laughs> you guys, this is so iconic. Oh, this looks so good. Okay, now. Ah. 
now now we're doing the taste test so i got a strawberry milkshake This is like the best thing I've ever had right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is a life hack. Order some fries and get a side of gravy. And the fries dipped in the gravy. Good morning, you guys. It is now Wednesday. And um, I missed vlogging yesterday because I kind of took the day off. I was feeling a little under the weather, um, but I ended up going to um, the infrared sauna float house. If you guys watched last week's vlog, then you know about it. But me and T went there to just like detox. Um, and I just kind of had a chill night because I knew I was traveling today. So I wanted to just kind of like feel better. And I am feeling a lot better. So I'm really grateful that I really just took the day off yesterday. And I'm headed to Toronto this morning. Um, it is currently 8.30 a.m. I just got to the airport. Sophie is going to be there. And it's obviously is going to be in Toronto. But Sophie's flying in from Saskatoon. So we're meeting there. We're not flying together this time. But anyways, we're only in Toronto for two nights and we're actually there for a road dinner with Hailey Bieber to celebrate road coming to Canada, which is very exciting because I know a lot of you guys who tried to get road, um, we like couldn't for so long, we had to ship it to the US. And I know firsthand having a brand, it is so expensive to be in Canada, especially after Emma's Olives and everything I've learned um, with really distributing in Canada and all of that jazz. It's super, super hard and expensive, so. It's very exciting for them, and I get why they're celebrating. So, anyways, that's where I'm going. But anyways, let's go to Toronto. All right, ladies, we are in the six. Once again, I feel like I'm here <laughs> way too often. But I had to shower as soon as I landed. I can't get in a hotel room and be in my airport clothes for longer than, like, five minutes. So I immediately ordered room service and then got my robe. Sophie is landing right now and Nitz is on our way over. We're gonna have a little slumber party tonight. The road dinner that we're here for isn't until tomorrow, so tonight's just like a free night because we don't get to do that very often, obviously, the three of us because Nitz is here. And now that we're here more often though, we're really getting a lot of each other lately. It's amazing. And I'm actually kind of having an outfit crisis, you guys. I don't have a dress for tomorrow. I'm just trying to keep my cool. I'm gonna self tan tonight. Hopefully my package shows up tomorrow morning because the dinner's tomorrow. So I'll keep you guys posted on my fashion crisis. So since it is still business hours in Vancouver, I have to get a little bit of work done. It's only 4.30 in Vancouver. Um, so I have to get a little bit of work done before the girls get here because I know once they get here We're just gonna want to hang out and chat um, So I'm just gonna like kind of sit here on my phone for a little bit and get some last-minute things done I'm so excited right now because it just got confirmed I'm hosting an event in LA a pre Coachella event in LA for Emma's olives um, in collaboration with one of my other favorite brands Emma pills and she's actually one of my friends now that I've met through just like the industry and we thought it was such a cute idea that we collaborate and do like a fun little martini Diamonds are a girl's best friend if you don't know Emma pill is a jewelry brand and have everyone wear like Emma pills jewelry And obviously serve Emma's olive martinis um, at the bar that we're hosting it at so I'm so excited because it's gonna be my first ever Hosted event with my own brand in LA. So it's definitely gonna be a super fun night um, So now I'm just like really excited I'm even more excited for LA now because we we're doing LA for a week and then Coachella so and if there's one thing I know how to do is throw a good party so I'm very excited. So anyways, I'm just gonna sit here and kind of get all of that done in my robe, of course, in the comfort of my bed. Okay, this is what I ordered. I got truffle fries, kale salad, and a side of rice. Why, why does the phone get to see before, the vlog get to see before I get to see? The vlog seeing, okay, hold on. Okay, you see it? Yeah, it was so good. Okay, so I got kale salad, fries, and rice. This is the most random. Like fries and rice? Yeah, it's the most random. You're a freak, Becky. <laughs> you know what I'm excited to do right now? The fresh, yeah. That's music to my ears. Yep. Yep. 
All right, well, I'll let you go. Have fun at your concert. Okay, I love you. I'll talk to you later. I love you. Bye. Okay, I love you. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Ah, it's one rat down and one more rat to go. <laughs> It's giving moms. It's giving moving in for the weekend. It's giving mom's night out. It's giving bagels nowhere to be found. Get dressed. We're making fun. It's also giving. I brought three workout sets, so nothing no. have an excuse. I don't want to work out. Look who decided to show. <laughs> Look who decided to show up. <laughs> Why you have such a natural glow? Hey. Hi. Hey, let's go. Yeah. You look stunning. Really? Yeah, you look what gorgeous. You this way. So scary. Welcome Ew. home. Ew, it smells like shit. <laughs> it's truffle fries. How are you? I ordered us truffle fries and that's how you're gonna repay me. <laughs> it smells like, like shit. It smells like farts. Well, it's a truffle. And maybe it's nits. <laughs> maybe it's nitsy. I said the same thing. <laughs> Probably need one second. You do look glowing. Yeah, it's like spray tan. Cool. Uh, today. The band is back together, ladies. The Joe Bros are back. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Yes. How are we doing? Breakfast is served. Whoa. The ladies are thriving. This is where we thrive, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Nitz has her eggs. She's happy. Soph has her bacon. She's, She's happy. happy. <laughs> extra crispy. We said, we said extra crispy or we don't want it. <laughs> or just leave it. Yeah. Leave it in the she kitchen. Goes, she repeats it. Extra crispy or you don't want it. <laughs> and then we got pancakes. Got oat milk latte which is like the best of the Four Seasons, you guys. Mm. This is the best part about staying here is their iced oat milk lattes. Yeah. And then also fruit platter. We got bread, more eggs, Where croissants. From? Right here. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Bon appetit. Okay, ladies, it's time to get ready. Soap's done her hair. <laughs> Avi, I've not done my hair. I just got out of the shower. And we're gonna do an updo tonight. By the way, I found my dress. Somehow, some way. Me and Sophie went to Holt Renfrew. Early to do my makeup? Um, maybe a little bit. Maybe like 15, 20. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm gonna put my foot in. But somehow, some way, I found a dress and it's super cute. I'm excited about it, so. Thank God. It always works out. I knew it would I knew it would work out, but I was losing hope a little bit towards the end there. Okay, we're almost there. We're doing an updo, but I can't decide if I want to put my little tendrils back or not. So we're gonna finish off this one. Just knock everything in my way. Um, we're gonna finish off the full look in the back first. I'm doing a bun, and then we'll see what we want to do. But it looks so cute. <laughs> okay, ladies. Don't give me a minute. My tits are out. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Um, makeup's done. I still have to do my lip, um, but I just want to show you my hair. She slayed. This is the dress. It's Christopher Esper. I'll show you a better view. But it's kind of like this funky neckline. I'm kind of obsessed with it. And I kind of look like the peptide lip fluid. Look at that. Oh, Nitz is calling. <laughs> hey. Nice hair. <laughs> It's going, it's go looking off. stunning. Okay, see you soon. What oh. Oh, what's that? What is this? Okay, wait, I'm gonna show you guys in the natural light, the dress. So, this is the look. I don't know if you can see me, it's so bright, but it's this like long, midi, maxi moment, this super cool 
um, neckline. But I literally look, you guys, like the Rode Peptide Lit Treatment. I think that that's gonna be my opening line to Haley. Is Haley, I look like your product. <laughs> okay, we're about to head out. I don't know if I'm gonna bring my vlog camera because it's really chunky and my purse. Did you bring any? Is the size of a mouse. Uh, yeah, I brought my black Amina. Can I use that? Yeah, sure. Um, so my purse is the size of a belt. Life short, take risks. Um, I wish I no. Nice oh, the hobo. <laughs> the hobo. But gold and then silver. See? Try it with the black bag, see what it looks like. But anyways, this is the final look. I'm gonna head out. The rest of the footage probably from tonight will be on my phone because I just don't wanna have to carry the vlog camera like I said. So, love you, wish us luck. <coughs> right now, meet Haley. Okay, bye. Okay, you guys, we're here at the road dinner. It's so stunning, you guys. I can't handle it. Look at everyone, looking absolutely gorgeous. This is Taylor, say hi. He's the mastermind behind all of the social at Rome. Yes, icon living. So, um, but yeah, we're having a good time. It's so stunning. It's truly so stunning. And the actual mouth is so bad. I've been holding it in for weeks. For weeks. For days. You look stunning in this. Ladies, it is the next morning and we have a lot to say. It was amazing. Also, don't look at our crust. She's just reliving last night through her stories still. I don't have words. We really don't have words. Um, I ended up bringing my vlog camera, but I still didn't really pull it out because it was just not the vibe. Like, we really just had a good time. To be honest, you guys, it was actually like so intimate and like you already know JB was in the house if you watched our stories. So, um, the moment we walked in and when we saw Justin Bieber's name tag at his seat, I was freaking out. We were like, no. And then we like look over and we're like, oh, where are our seats? They're, oh, they're our, one seat away. One seat away from Justin and Haley. That's so crazy. So, like, does that mean. <laughs> so, that means we're going to sit right next to Justin and Haley. Okay, cool. They were so nice. I want to relive it. I would love to relive that night 10 times over. It was like Coachella, but better. <laughs> she fucking went over our Coachella. Oh yeah. And then we're like, can we show you our looks? Like, can you let us know what you think of our looks? And she was she's like, like, she's like, yeah. Show, and we're like, we have PDFs on yeah. our phone. She's like, yeah, show me your PDF. No. And we're like, okay. We're like, okay. We literally showed her our Google Docs, like our PDF files of our fucking small. looks. Was it last night or this morning when you rolled over and looked at me and go, <laughs> I'm rethinking my entire Coachella look. And I wish all of you guys were on my close friend stories because the close friend stories is where the real magic was happening, but I couldn't post it on public because I was like, there's just no way I'm posting that. Anyways, it was a great night. Our flight's today at four o'clock and it's currently... Don't remind me. What time is it? I know, I don't wanna fly. I wanna um, it's currently 10 a.m. and our flight's at four. We're going to brunch with Nitz. She went home last night, but she's coming to meet us for brunch before we go. And then we're gonna head back to the motherland. The next vlog is gonna be LA baby. LA baby and Coachella. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog Coachella though. We did vlog last year. I think maybe vlogging for Coachella is a little too much, but we'll see. We'll see, okay. Love you, bye. bye. Ew, look how gross you look. Now, compared to last night, it's like, I have to go.